job, good job. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, do we have any changes to the agenda or public comment? This is for Susan. The plane needs to go down that way. Sorry. Maybe it's a brave you've been asking. Yeah, that's right. I had a couple of miscellaneous things that are other business, but I'm going to make notes from upstairs and we get all that money. Is that anything of relevance to the virus? Yeah, the next. No, she's a permit. Oh, okay. Yeah. If we just keep having, you know, every four or five days, we have five inches of snow, it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're yeah. headed for it again. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect for our activity, not so, so not so much for those boys. Yeah. Well, they're finally getting there. They get there. They get there they get overnight. overnight. Yeah. Yeah. This is the time. They... Yeah. yeah. So the 2023 button uh, will be approving the January 10th minutes tonight, so December 20th. But just so you know. Okay. And um, so, yeah, the tandem. Um, the trade and warranty, there was some issue or something brought up about that. You want to explain well, it? The, the trade in there, they offered us 40000 which I think is too low for the job. Yeah, we just put $10,000 into yeah. it. Yeah, this summer? Yeah. yeah. You can't buy a cheap car for $40,000. That's right. And it's a good, you know, it's a good running truck. Yeah. Like it. Danny, get back to you yet? Or? No. Yeah. So he was trying to see if he can get more for the trade in, but I'm going to recommend try to tell him how right. Yeah. What would you suggest the value of it would be? Yep, double that. <laughs> yeah. That's what I just told Brian. No, let me let me reword that. What would the market support? <laughs> I really want to. Bet you, I bet you closer to double that. 75 would be my suggestion on a 15 tandem axle. So I said, you not. And it's in good shape. You know, cars like this. It's not bought it. Not bought it. No. Same, just What's the new one cost? Two thirty. Yeah, two thirty. And this one's got the pile. It's got the wing. Sander, he said, is in good shape. Yeah, we'll work on it tomorrow. <laughs> no, but I, I just, I, 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 I don't, I agree with him one hundred percent. But I'm, I won't give. I mean, you can't buy a cheap little pickup for forty grand. No, I, no. <laughs> Uh, I'm buying, I'm looking at using, getting a used one, used pickup, and it's going to cost me almost 60. <laughs> okay. Wait, what, what is it weigh? The truck weighs 60,000, 62,000, 66,000? Loaded. What's the weigh on loaded? 40? So it's at 15 tons, scrap metal is $3, $310 a ton. It's almost worth that scrap metal. <laughs> I'd fill the body first. <laughs> So I'd say I'd say selling it I'd say selling it outright probably. Yeah. And if they don't sell it off, well, we have a pretty good spare drop. I don't yeah. I, I, would, I would sell I would sell it. Was it forty thousand with the equipment? Put it out there for advertising. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, put that we can get the price. Right. We're on, we're not banking on any money back exactly. on that. The yeah. small towns need their truck. Oh, yeah. We're doing the plane. Only got you said oh, yeah. eighty thousand on that. <laughs> we don't budget gross for what, capital plan. Yeah, I think he told me the other night it was at just 80,000. I think it's 80. I think it's 150. 80, but they're good for 300,000. Invoice from International is 212, basically. Okay. Is that the same one we're looking at? 211, 890. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Yeah. Just, well, it's dated June 21. It's a little old, but <laughs> when you ordered it. Yeah, because yeah, there are some added. I just sent it to you though, yesterday. Right? It's more now with a wing. Yeah, that's just a cat. There was well, some, that's, well, that's what we told them. Mm -hmm. There was an unfolded charger or something on it too. There's some. <laughs> well, I mean, that was almost two years. I believe it. It's yeah. just hard to tell. Yeah, two years. Yeah. Awesome. The new invoice is 232.664. Okay, yeah, so minus the 40. So it's 192.664 net. So, and this is the we signed that. This is yeah. what's the make of the truck? Yeah. You don't see anybody. Yeah. Yeah. 
You have you heard any other towns around here close by that maybe had one breakdown and looking at spending the big bucks for no and just get them by? I don't think you would find I think you could have a hard time coming to say bottom. Two years it's counting your money again. Yeah. You you right she's up this year. And it's a she's big two year and they have a big tournament and everything else I'm thinking. I'm going to finish out your turn. I'm going to finish out your turn. Yeah. If there's a chance not to, I wouldn't. It would be. I'll talk to you. Remind me after the meeting. I know somebody that wants to get on. Yeah. I think he people should be doing that now, putting but, their vehicles aside, holding them until everybody else is, you know, they don't sell them. Got these over here. So the current deal, He's so to right? speak, with the no. capital planning. I know. He's leaving. So that one's we Only able to get through the one next one. One. Five years of loans. So, any money that you can get from either trades or delayed purchases, you can. Yeah. That's not a good position to be in. I didn't do that the first time. Getting back to a cash no, point. Yeah. You can't get there. Oh, you have to do that. These kind of prices. Yeah. Yeah. 30 signature. Definitely. The other thing, yeah, we're going to no. take it with you now. We, we didn't even have people step up to run like the same. They can't go to the green investment money. So we plan on it's the furniture they launch off it. Then it's the expert. We're not sure what it is. You know, but don't spend I get it. You know, you're training about your effect ten years in a row to could be smash with it, could be broad in it, or have another hundred thousand one of them. Yeah. No, I know so there's really a tough. There's an equipment um, magazine that's around here somewhere too, and that they thought it could be advertised in that. We could even do as much as uh, Marketplace and Craigslist. We can advertise on that local road too. We got a local road being on the road out of town. Is it? Yeah. And people advertise stuff that's going on. Like Ryan's old truck went to John Bloomfield. Bloomfield bought that. So she be selling a lot of Bloomfield truck. Yeah. 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 So should be settling on a anything better than forty. Right. Yeah, that's what yeah, get 50. I mean, well, anything better than 40. Figure what, out what you, you think it's for. And if I yeah. mean, if you go at 75 and somebody says here's 72, terrific. Right. Whereupon if you go 40 and somebody will hell, I'm gonna give them the 60. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, people spend about the prices I, I pick up truck like now and they see that they yeah. did a hell of a deal. <clears throat> we do yeah, 75. The, the only fault like you can start high is just how much are they dependent on the money to pay for that gap that can we we're expecting some money come in to pay for the truck. You know, all that stuff. So it's happening. But yeah. I don't want to give it away. But we know that's why I still no, no then that's giving that's it away when you do that. That's not yeah. a problem. I would assume Ron somewhere or other we can float ourselves the money yeah. there until we sell it. Yeah, there's more to talk about with floating money. <laughs> right, yeah, but right. But there's uh I just was explaining to Brian that part of the challenge with any of these purchases is just they're they're in the fire truck is the same thing with adding 20 and 30 percent in a year to the cost of the suckers. You know? yeah, yeah. And our capital planning and the amount you put away in your reserves every year is not keeping up with that kind of stuff. So that was until a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah. So the reserves, you know, the unassigned fund balance, what Susan was talking about, can cover some amount, but we're also trying to figure out how to pay off the center road loan. So that's another. So we're right, doing just, it'd be short term. Could... We're talking very short term. I think it's. Yeah. So when you sell it, the money just goes into, yeah. as I say, I'm looking It'll to. Go go, back. Yeah. It would just go right back in. And then so, less than six months, I'd be gone. And you could float with out of our but really. Yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah, no, I think the I think the highway capital reserve is good enough. The, Again, the problem's next year, right? <laughs> so that's the one. Next year, year uh, that thing's sold before that. Yeah, oh, yeah. we talked in a few months, probably. Right, next year was the Mark's replacement truck that we were talking about. Maybe using some ARPA money for that purchase, right? Which is kind of a short term, you know, public benefit versus more programming for long term public benefit right. with ARPA. So there's a little bit of a policy decision you have to make about using it for capital depreciating assets. 
it's a side issue, but yes, for this yeah. one purchase, you're going to find a purchaser at some point within three months or four, you know, this yeah. is kind of a long term. Right. Right. After that, you're going to tap out your buyers. Once they find out forty thousand dollars, I'll give you forty thousand dollars for Brazil. <laughs> yeah, I think when Johnson advertised it's their, their sell it right. When they Johnson that, sold their greater, right? Yeah, they use the language of uh, uh, selling their road grader one hundred ten thousand minimum or or best offer kind of thing. So they set a floor oh, okay. where they weren't going to take anything. Okay, yeah. essentially like a silent auction. They did that with a tractor too. They sold the tractor on the brush on the yeah, They set a floor and then they let it go from there. So people got into calling Mark all the time and bidding or whatever they were doing. So what would that be? 75 is where we're at and we've dropped to 70 or we'll set a floor for 50 and go up. Somebody offers 50, somebody offers 55. We're already 10,000 more than the trade in is going to be. Set the floor for 50. You're already winning. Yeah. And you can have it right to recruit also, right? Well, you always you always have a right to refuse any bills. Yeah, I'd like the I like the idea of starting at like at seventy or seventy five. I mean, you could advertise it for like seventy. Right. You don't yeah. get any bids on it, then you yeah. can put it out the bid. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Do that. I do. I go that way. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Me too. But that way, you don't end up someone not coming in. Yeah. You know, you just advertise it for seventy thousand, and then you'll get if you a dozen people if looking you at get, it. Yeah. You don't sell for what you want, then you put it up in bid for the lowest bid. Right. And I think the bed changing the shit when we took the link out. I think still when's the last time you wax that thing to make sure you get set? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. It's funny. I don't get license plate lights out. But, but a half done pickup you can't even buy from that. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, you said Danny might come back with some. Yeah, he might come back with a full on He told me yes, he hasn't heard nothing yet. I doubt we're going to go that much. No. Myself, you know, over there. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll see if they get, they're they easier to work with anyway. Right. right. You know, I just, just got online real quick just to look one up. A 2002 Freightliner. It's got 650,000 miles on it. They're asking 5490. Fifty-four nine hundred. How many miles? Six hundred and fifty thousand miles. Different is like our bodies are locked. You know, yeah, they're spending, they're, they're, but it's right. not for everybody. You know, right. if you don't want to remember the name I mentioned stuff. the other night to you, you know him. Yeah, you want to talk to him about it. But there's yeah, it's there's opportunity there. Yeah. And here's the model done just that. Uh, there's an 87 for 55. Oh, warranties on the engine. 1987. Our truck's 30 years newer. Okay. Do you have any new on that? Or do you... Well, I'm kind of confused. I was calling it Danny because if you look at that, the warranty itself, it said 60 months for the towing. And Danny took it last night seven years. Yeah, no, it should be seven years. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what that I tried to go down, but I came down. So the, the towing part of our warranty, we paid thirteen hundred dollars for five hundred fifty dollar coverage to tow. So they pay five hundred fifty dollars worth of uh, to go from here to Clarks. They've always been pretty close coming into five fifty for us for uh, and we'll have to have a truck tow for nine hundred fifty dollars more the twenty two fifty. Gives us an allowance of eleven hundred dollars per gallon. Now I'm going to suggest going to that. I don't know the fuel price of hell. Then big records can go call it from here down to. How often do we get towed? Not very really, often. Really. Not real often, but it'll. Uh, With all those no emissions, go pay for itself. How much is more? Oh, that's on the total truck purchase. So that's over the life of the truck. For seven, seven years. years. Okay. On the so two warranty, seven years. years. Yeah, and the extended one you do you have that price in mind? I didn't know it was a tolling part of it was. You know, just no, I right know. That was a tolling part. It was um, $1,300 for $550 and $2,250 for $100 coverage. 
I'm trying to do the for seven years, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. It'll pay for itself. <laughs> Especially with these emissions. Yeah. So if it was six or seven hundred dollars, that would close the year to Clark. Yeah. That would be more common. That was three years ago. Yeah. I mean, you don't know what it is. It's going to be right. Now I'm on Clark's on it, so I don't know what we did to they change there. Uh -oh. In the seven year bumper to bumper. And that's most they go is seven years, right? Yeah. You definitely want to get to seven year bumper to bumper. <clears throat> with, this, going on all with, the bumpers, with this emissions yeah, is doing that for hurting that. everybody. I heard they're going to get out of the death. You heard that? I don't think you'll ever get out of there. They're going along. We follow California. Oh, California yeah. taking every truck off the road. No, the I, don't, I haven't seen it yet. I think what's going to happen is you're going to, heard that. You're going to go back to a legion. Because I, we need I heard to do it with that <laughs> additional. 2025 is a lot better. No, we don't believe it. How many? That add to the truck. I think that's what you're doing. Add to the, yeah. When they go through the mission. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's not two years. <clears throat> right. That's following, like, as I was just saying, California's talking about removing all trucks past the, I think it's 2006. I think I read the article. So. Um, is there any that, and the truck purchase is out that in that? For some reason, I think it might have been in that straight with the truck. I think it's already rolled in there. Um, yeah, no, you're not gonna have to worry because that was my question. Because the warranty papers in the set seven, eight, whatever the papers that said excluded towing, but he's saying it's included, but there's no note on the invoice saying it's included up to 550. So we need to get him to revise the invoice to deal with that. So okay. he's either got to say you're adding in the 550 or you're adding 1100, or the 550 was included and you're upgrading to that. Here's a you get a Right. I, I haven't seen that. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen that yeah. yet. We need to see that in print. Right. I haven't seen that yet. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, okay, so do we need to vote on that level? No, you'll see a new invoice with it on there. Okay. That's what okay. I just told me. You need to okay. see it in print. And if they're willing to put it in print or they change it the last second, who knows? But okay. we have direction from the board. Need more competition so they don't have so much to yeah. people that can raise the rates and stuff. Okay, High Park Town Fire Department hourly rates, fast squad, stipend call. <clears throat> I'm looking at the uh, rates that you're, this is current rate that they provided to us. Have you seen this? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one you guys. Yeah. yeah. So I just added some notes to the rate sheet that just talks about what we had been doing and what the payment was to uh, move payment dates. That's just a note in case anybody was familiar. These are, these are just notes over here. One of those would be moved to the uh, December from January, basically. Is that what happened? And you still get paid in July. Yeah, December 1st and July 1st. So we thought if we paid you guys to do December 1st, we can be good with money. Good idea. Yeah. So that's we did that this year. Right. So uh, we need to make sure that we're following minimum wage because states are dusting every year. And as long as the CPI is over 5%, minimum wage goes up by 5%. It can't go above 5% by statute. It can go to 5%. So every January 1st, as long as the CPI stays above five, it's going to be 5% more on. I don't know if there's a cap. I think it's just permanent CPI. On the minimum wage of Vermont. But anyway, the fire rates are above that. So we don't have that confusion of paying a firefighter less than minimum wage. What did, what did, I don't even know what we just 13, 18, 13, January 18. 1st. So just every January 1st. I think what, what I mean, 13, 50, Yeah. Or so you're, you're good, so to speak, for this year. Yeah. Um, and then if you, if the board wants to start adjusting with the employees, this July, we do whatever the final employees in general percentages increase. And that should keep it above minimum wage. 
your fast is below minimum wage. Oh, you talk about that next. Yeah, I was gonna say based on your notes. Yeah, we gotta talk about that. So that's the firefighters, and you're kind of approving two things. One is to confirm that these are the numbers for basically the last six months of this fiscal year, and then the rates will adjust for July. And I think, and that this is something Jennifer was debating. They'll submit time for January to June and get paid July 1st. If the rates change on July 1st, I think you'd be paid under these rates. And then they yeah. adjust, and then they'll be paid December for the adjusted. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure we're clear on that. Even though we're paying them after July 1st, it's still like the old rate because that's what you're Yeah, because that's what you're being paid for. Okay. So just be clear. Um, the fast as long as they're above the minimum wage, which I think they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. So the fast squad was a little confusing. I went back to the 2017 vote with the board, and I sort of remember the discussion. And it was no compensation, and then should we compensate? And should we do an hourly? What are their hours? 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40. You know, it wasn't a multiple hour type event. Each event, each call is on the shorter term. So we said round up to an hour. And then apply an hourly rate of 11 and, and pay $11 for every call. So all those things are convoluted because either you set a per call stipend of X dollars or you actually take their hours and account for the half hour and so on. And then you get an hourly rate based on that. That particular service is a per call, very short term type of thing. It's not multiple days. It's not multiple hours. It's usually one event, maybe sometimes two events a day, depending on the call to jump the ambulance and get there first. So considering 2017, it was 11. And to clarify this whole hourly rate thing, which Matt just pointed out, it's better for volunteers to have a stipend on a per call at a certain dollar amount, like $20 an hour per call. That covers their mileage, their discomfort for getting called out, their high critical service that they provide, which is getting to a scene with those minutes ticking away, depending on the event. Every minute counts kind of concept. And adjusting for the 17 to 23 rate, you know, taking the 11 up and say, and clarify that. That's one option is to say stipend and at the new dollar amount. If you go to hourly <clears throat> for somebody that's reporting six, six or seven events over six months. Yeah. It really, it's not appropriate. I don't, it just doesn't make any sense when you just look at it from, what are you, you're paying them hourly and they work 20 minutes. Well, we round up to an hour and then we give them $11. And it's like, it's really, it was confusing. And it, it just wasn't clear in 2017, but they've been doing it per call. That's how Brad reports it. Per call, eight calls, $88. 15 calls, you know, whatever that is. And how often are they paying? Same schedule, same, same schedule. Right. I think Ryan collects them or somebody collects them and brings them in the same schedule of the fire right. guys. Right. That's right. But they, they coordinate the schedule. So it's the same December, July. Right. So those are the, I guess the motions are to have the rates adjust July 1 equal to the town employees non-union rate adjustment because the union is different. And also consider what you want to do with the fast squad, which is really just three people now reporting anywhere. It's from, three now. That's reporting those three people. Jordan, Bob, and Brad. Uh -huh. Jordan, Bob, and Brad. And they're doing sort of limited duty compared to 2017. Sure. They're doing maybe half, maybe half. It seemed like the number of calls they were getting to. So it's. It's a good service if they're available. It's not a full service because we don't have a guaranteed person to jump those calls. And I don't, maybe the ambulance is faster, so they they do that in a call. You know, we need an ambulance, and the ambulance is there quicker, so they don't jump that call. I don't know how they manage that, but yeah. I think in the past Brad was jumping every call, even if the ambulance was almost there or something, because he he had a lot of calls back then. So I don't know what's changed over the last you know six years, but. Um, it's still something they want to do, as far as I know. I mean, Brad and uh, and uh, and George still want to do it, and it does provide that service. Not every town has that, so it's kind of an extra bonus for Hyde Park people to be able to get some quick service before the ambulance arrives. What's our total cost in that line at the end of the year? Normally, three hundred bucks. It's a hundred, under a thousand. Yeah, yeah. Even at a stipend of twenty, it would probably be under a thousand. I mean, the fast home budget is not that much. No. 
<laughs> no, they only spent. You saved one person's life. They only spent seven. I was going to say, we just wasted more time talking about it than it was worth. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I said I we need the clarity is why I brought yep. it up. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. And that at least we know they're there, right? Yep. So we need a motion or what's the motion need to make that will raise the rates to as as per firefighters, firefighters non-union non -union yeah. per the rates that we see this spring? That that are here on this paper for 22. We're gonna continue yep. through yeah, first half of 23. I'll make that motion. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody oppose abstaining? I didn't hear anybody second. I'll second it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get through to <laughs> these boys gotta get to PA too. That's right. You can't go support Shelby. And I don't know if we have a similar area. No, there ain't no place to stay. And then we need the fast squad. No, we don't need the fast squad. Okay, so we do what fast squad at 20? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Signify by saying aye. I seconded it. Thank you. It's, <laughs> it's 20 per call. Just yeah, to be clear, it's a stipend of 20 per call. That really is ours. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and that's effective on January 1, 23 until change, which might be two, three years out whenever you visit it again. Bylaws. Bylaws. Just need a quick motion to approve their meeting date from Thursday to Tuesday. Motion to move their meeting. Thursday to Tuesday. Um, from Thursday to Tuesday. Second. It. Second. It. Second it. Yeah. All in favor, say by saying aye. 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 Opposed, Danny. So let's do it. Yeah, by law, okay. Then the uh, fire department. Is there any reason the fire department cannot drill a lot of water? We cannot drill water. Well, that's been talked about. Yeah, state permit. Well, you're looking at your money. We paid two million so far this year for water. Right. We we yeah. talked. We've we we talked discussed about this a number of times. Yeah. <laughs> Might be going down by twenty five percent. Yeah, we've even talked about moving to like Arva money. That was a big discussion with Arva money for you guys. Do you have a or swamp eight. still out back? Do you have a swamp still out back to the fire department? Yeah, it has a lot of way back there. But... There should be water there. So the only thing you got to think about that, Brian, is if you needed water at the station. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, why couldn't we just keep the, keep the hydrant there? You're still going to pay. You're still going to pay. Right. As long as it's hooked up to that building. Yeah. <clears throat> their service fee. And, and, and you're right. But once you once they shut their water off, we got to hydrate right outside the fire station. <laughs> that's up to you. I know how it works myself. But you want to find a price from Nick and what the cost would have been? I just think that $20,000 a year to have. Water that is ridiculous, but things aren't all so that's going to turn around because this just went to the courts. And this would be something you could follow up on, but just went to the courts. But are we allowed to get out the water? Really I don't know. With the courts just restricting that going into the three different parties, what are they going to do now? Just turn it over to two different parties? The bottom line is the town's still going to pay for it, whether it's the school, the high fire care, or the fire department. I think I'd wait and see what happens. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'd, you I'd think wait you and see what yeah, happens. Yeah, I thought this sort of everything right. Yeah, we should be getting yeah, amended bill of some right. sort at some point. Right. With the new cost <laughs> you're talking about. It's yeah. only, yeah, like you said, it's only going to change it like whatever, 26% or whatever it was. It's not really huge. Anyway, right, it was in this week's paper. Yeah. 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 But we can watch for the new bill and you guys can go from there. I'm just curious if it's possible to. That's totally possible. As far as I know, there's. I don't know if you could get off the village system or there's no restrictions except getting a state permit for it. There ain't no reason why we can't do that. Well, right. If you want to get thing, you just you'd want to get completely off it. So if you drilled the well, you'd want to bring the water into the. Right. Yeah. I mean, but again, completely off. Again, as a total town budget, what what are we changing now? Now the water bill goes to your fire department. So now they now Mark who's coming to us asking for an increase and then our school budget. Oh, so you're saying you think they're gonna take the fire department? Well, that's what that cover that's something. exactly what that court case said. It's being divided between the three entities. 
Well, yeah. it got some put oh. onto the residents in the village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. My, my and, new, I'm just saying, it, it, it like was a three percent increase, and then it was enough. And then the three entities are careful. Well, you do it. It is is the whole county is. Again, who's taking care of it? Well, let's just. Yeah, I mean, I guess if, if that's the case, then I guess it's probably this way. This way. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to tell them that find the big money guys in town that are on town water. Yeah, let's just, <laughs> just wait. Well, let's go on to something else. Yeah. <laughs> Get ahead of ourselves. Okay, okay. six hundred thousand borrowing. You just need to approve it. About this the other day. Necessity. Yep. Yeah, necessity resolution to be signed. I'm going to just gonna, while you do that, I'm going to check his email just to see what was in there. So, this, is this going to be something we're taking to the town on voter? On town meeting? Yeah, if you, yeah. if you approve the resolution, necessity resolution, we add the article to the warning for the county plan. What do we have in there for the, essentially the reserve money funds? Uh, let's see, you had fire reserve had close 200,000 as of last June. And I think you're 80,000 80, put them for this current this year. There's a budget amount of, of another, yeah, 85,000 that's going in. So almost half, I guess, if you use all of that. But we also have a note with North High Park. I don't know, North High Park takes twenty two thousand out a year, mm -hmm. and North High Park has another one coming, coming next year with another twenty two thousand plus. Yeah. I need to make up some for the reserve. So probably if you work all that down, it's a third of, not half, but maybe a third by the time the trucks deliver. Whenever that's going to be, you have to figure it out. So unless unless we look yeah. at it, unless we look at a significant ARPA subsidy. Yeah, that's the same discussion we have. March truck for next year was our ARPA runs up pretty quick at 200, 300 a pop. Yeah, it does. It's about 600 left. Right. But it was, I mean, ARPA was intended to help help reduce yeah. the burden, but you're, yeah. talking, you're talking about depreciating assets which don't provide any more than that window. Right. They don't. They don't generate more revenue down the road by making right. some improvement locally. You're buying land that will generate more taxes down the road, or that kind of stuff. But it does give you some time to build up your funds, so that when the next one comes along, you have more money. Without potentially increasing the taxes, right. it creates a little short-term gap. Yeah, the appropriation need. Right. Do we need a motion on the necessity of the resolution for the new fire truck? Second. 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 All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed, abstaining? Uh, aye. Yeah, I'm good. I don't understand it necessarily 100%, I'll be honest, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we have to borrow the money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. And if the tax if the tax payer doesn't deny it, then we have to figure out a resolution essentially, right? So so we can buy it. We can yeah. buy it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be there. We're there. We're number six it. already. Uh, draft for 2024 town budget review update budget and tax okay. rate and annual select board uh, report. We'll start with the budget and tax rate. They should have a new copy of the uh, yeah, Justin Hale, yeah. 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 So toss out everything that you might have oh, yeah. had received earlier. Give me a copy now. Um, sure. Has it changed since you sent the email? Yeah, this is new tonight. Okay. Not substantially, but we're trying to we're trying to get to the bottom of all the little ads and deletes and right. cover sheet which shows the tax rate deduction at four point three, and we had no real significant changes. I think we we met with both 
library of recreation to try to fine tune and make sure that they're good, so to speak, with their numbers and they didn't have any substantial changes from the prior version for those two groups. Good. Um, I couldn't find any more revenue. We looked at that a bunch of times, just trying to anything that we forgot about that was changing. The uh, fee schedule that you all updated a couple of years ago is helping on building permit fees a little bit. But other than yeah. that, there's really no major changes other than Jen trying to get more investment income. So there's a significant yeah, change cool. there by 10,000. So other than those two, everything's almost flat, if you will, in revenue. On the expense side, uh, we all settled on the 5%. And for wages, which had those adjustments to all the other payroll expenses. Uh, the general administration on expenses includes the uh, planning and zoning position. It includes a reduction in town administrator wages to be made up with grant income through ARPA and FEMA and other because some of those FEMA projects are going to go on for a couple more years. And then we have ARPA money, which is a couple more years, and all those are eligible for administrative fees, which sometimes just go into revenue. Yeah. But you're also budgeting and paying out, and it, they don't exactly offset here. It's, it would be more direct offset. Uh, on the next department is highway and that is has a big question that jen and i just did not have time to resolve and <clears throat> the new payroll system's up and running but there's also a lot of glitches that we're still trying to figure out with the company and between staff so we're all takes up a lot more time when you're starting to uh, do a transfer from one system to the next so that's leaving less time for our discussions on budgeting one of the things that we couldn't get through was what to do about center road. If you look in the highway budget, there's 143,000 budgeted for this year. And a hundred and if you look at FY23, you see 180,000 for paving and you'll see 143,800 for center road. Using both of those numbers to pay down the note that's due May 23. That still leaves about 260,000 or so left on Center Road. And your choices are fairly limited due to that large number. You could allocate or designate FEMA money, which is coming. We got our last payment reimbursement in November, October. So we have 100% of the FEMA event from 2019 finally. Which, how, how much of that is? Which, how, which is more than 260. Right. So you could make a simple, we yep. initially thought we were going to get that money at some point. Yep. We knew we could take out a loan and use a couple of years yep. of paving money. And we thought it would all sort out. It looks like it's really close to actually doing that. Okay. The, if, if you wanted to reserve that some, out. yeah, that's <laughs> right. I know, that's what I said. So if the FEMA money isn't used, then you still have the backup for ARPA, which isn't really supposed to be used for debt, but I wouldn't do, so I wouldn't advise doing a debt payment, which is what we're talking about. And you have unassigned fund balance. So yesterday, or actually today, the town auditor finally signed the 2020 audit. The 21 audit is almost done because they're they're done on top of each other. So now we just have to restart the closing process for the 21. So that should go pretty quick. Those two audits result in a better understanding of the unassigned fund balance. Also the transfer of the recreation committee because the audited number, if they end up with a surplus in operations goes to their capital reserve. Um, Jennifer has looked at the unassigned fund balance and feels comfortable that there's more money in there Within, within your range. So you have a fund reserve policy of between 10 and 20% of revenue has to be kept in a sort of a sweet spot for your rainy day fund. Yeah. And she's thinking that even after we took the hit for before FEMA payment came back, we were still in that sweet spot of yeah. like 400,000. With a $3 million revenue right now, because you're over $3 million budget for the first time, that's 
uh, 300,000 to 600,000 in that range. And she still thinks you're going to be on the higher end of that. Okay. So, so there's more money than you. Yeah. There's, but so there was the plan right along to bid. And I, in a way, I guess I'm glad FEMA took this long to get the money to us, right? <laughs> there's the positive side of it mm -hmm. that we figured we went ahead and did that big project. This was the way to do it because of the FEMA money, again, which was all coming back in and because we have these reserve funds, when we got hit with a disaster, we didn't have to borrow money to pay the bills. We'd lent it to ourselves, if you will, so that we didn't have to borrow money, which is a great place to be. But now it's back. I'd say, I'd say as we thought right along, great, this is this is use this to pay for the loan well, for the yeah. take, take the care kid. of the road. Yeah. yeah, that's what open the plan was. So pay off the road. And then looking even when we save our 20%, we know the giant expenses we have coming up for these expensive vehicles that take as much money as possible and put it in those in those capital reserves because we're going to get hammered. Yeah, I don't I don't see any stopping on those capital expense increases no, 10 or 20 no. percent or whatever. No. There's no good news in no, those two years. 2027, supposedly they're all fifty thousand dollars price tag out of debt and truck for emissions. So one question I got. <laughs> Why are any of us doing this job? <laughs> Going backwards, we're we're adding a fifth man. Is that truck that we're talking about getting rid of? A possibility of something we might need. It could run, but I don't. Our, yeah, but the only problem is, is I mean, you're getting rid of the truck to eight years because they will spend right. 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 I mean, That's what we're trying to avoid. Okay. Is we keep it. And, I didn't know if you I mean, yeah. if you're in it every day, I, I mean, it's, it gets 22. Right. Okay. They I just run know. for another 50 years without a problem. That's right. Right. Yeah. Start to. We found we found it after nine ten years. I agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying, like even like a no. training program for this new like, something to that. I just just was throwing it out there for forty grand. Yeah. You know, there is there's a way that, and what I use it myself with the uh, vehicles. Um, you pay them off, and then you run them until the payment of the repairs exceeds the payment of the new one. Of the, of the new one. And you've got everything here. You calculate everything. You keep it in the budget. You can almost do it that way when you get to your eight-year mark. It's, yeah, it just gets a little trickier with with a vehicle. It's a little easier, but with those guys, you know, a motor goes, not running it every day. Right, and a mo and a motor right. a motor goes on it. There goes there goes three years of payment. Look at the example. That's great. But with you guys, you got to wait. Two years, really? Two years. Two years. Two years. Well, I mean, That's right now. Right. Yeah. It'll be a year next year, but it'll be three. I don't know where they would. Yeah. It's going to get better. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah, I don't How else can we raise revenue for, other than taxes increase? <laughs> We're going to have to do something at the current rate that everything's going at. We don't have a choice. Well, you, it's going to be used for, up and everything. Well, but, well, eventually, but we can, we can, if you will, tread water. We can use the extra money we have now, so we build up the capital reserves. Again, we <laughs> we aren't sitting in Morristown saying we're going to increase your taxes thirty seven percent. Yeah, um, yeah. No, that, you I, know, it, and, and I think it's the it's, 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 it's taking advantage of the cash when we have it. Um, and, and, and putting it away. Can we use any of the money to make money? Well, the, the, we we just started that. I mean, Jen's Jen's putting her money. No, no, that's true. That's, 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 right. that's absolutely true. I didn't know if there's any other way that we could create. And I don't. The, the, only, the, only, way, yeah, the only way to really change the game, if you will, which is I think Morrisville just is doing a lot of stuff out there with private investment that's going to generate more. Cost, you know, they're doing the residential thing. So the commercial thing is really the best addition. Um, if you wanted to take investments through ARPA money and try to figure out how to make that work work better yeah. for those commercial properties. So, for example, if you had, a, we don't have a problem necessarily at North High Park Industrial Park, but there's no value there. 
you know, how do you get more value up there? You almost have to do incentive stuff with ARPA to get people to build buildings that are taxable. You know, that's kind well, of the, mo the, infrastructure the, money, the money that you're talking about is from buildings. It's not from yeah. residential. Yeah. It's not from the, a, a landscaper coming in to set a bunch of rocks on the ground. It's from building commercial buildings is where you're. Yes. Yeah. What wasn't the industrial park set up because of the, the investment in the infrastructure for the sewer water, all that stuff was run through there. And set up for town for for anybody any industry that wanted to come in there. Type of thing. That's what it was. I didn't know if we had it was time. intended for that, and it was twenty person office building or businesses twenty you know twenty employees sure. in each one of those twelve yeah. lots, and it ended up being you know one guy buying six lots and having ten employees. <laughs> yeah. it, so it's totally opposite of what you really wanted to see up there. Right. So just say, just you're not, and then you're not seeing growth. I mean, look at Eden can't even couldn't even float. Uh, Mini mart anymore, you know, you know something that's going to. Well, what I'm years. thinking is with the anticipated growth in in Morrisville, it's going to flood over at some point. At some point, it's going to flood over. We're the next ones. We yeah. might as well be prepared for it and and have everything set in, with anticipation of it. Yeah, if you want it, what's the flow over? Yeah. What well, we'd have to look and see what it, what, it, what it is in Morrisville Wait, and see how it how it's expanding in Morrisville. It go, it goes to, predict the, that trickles down to avail, availability of property, and we don't have that here. We are, <laughs> well, I have a, I guess two, two quick stories just to give you an idea of how the town could invest or try to encourage, incentivize the commercial buildings. We had a, a cold call last week. I got a landscaping company with 20 employees. He went to Morrisville. He wanted the combination of living on the commercial property, which Morrisville prohibits because they, when we fixed that back in 2016, when we said you're allowed to have mixed uses on the same property. So we did, we specifically put that in there because we knew that mixed use, even if it's by different people and condominiums is fine if it's done within the site planning and, and proper you know, layout of buildings. So it doesn't infer, you know, it doesn't impact neighbors and all that. So he was happy to hear that because he had basically just been rejected by more stuff. So we can leverage those kind of things by making sure, and that's what the planning commission is doing now with the bylaw modernization project that you'll see, you're gonna see a set of amendments to the zoning, which you'll be able to make sure don't limit those opportunities for people to invest in Hyde Park because we have some weird, no, not make sense bylaw, for example. So that guy's, Asked for a copy of the zoning. He wants to look at all our districts. I said, Route 100 right now, it, it is zoned R2. But back in 2016, the bylaw changed with a little C and an X. I don't know if you've seen the bylaw, but it's basically prohibited as an X. But there's a little C next to it, which means, and you looked at the footnote, and all of Route 100 from the village up to North High Park says you can have contractor yards and supply businesses and offices if the property that's being developed is within a neighborhood of mixed uses, which is why um, um, the fuel guy is up Yeah, there. I was just going to say, the fuel guy, right? The fuel guy is there. So is there because the bylaw said, Jim, Jimmy, you can locate there right. because it's not a subdivision of single family homes. It's part of a strip of ag, open, a little bit of commercial, a little bit of home. It's, it's all mixed up. So it's perfectly fine. And he said, great. And he invested. So that adds to your tax base. Yeah. So that's one example of how somebody looking at Hyde Park might get a different welcoming angle because we're saying that's a long strip of 100, you know, Route 100 that looks like it's all residential on the map. But if you can spend a few minutes with somebody and say what you really need, you can say that's perfectly fine there. So, so but maybe, it has to come for sale. I mean, that's but that's what he's doing. He's hunting right, right now right, for that. Right. Piece but our market, <clears throat> the high park as a whole, it's not. I don't. I, I don't. I can't fix that. I mean, I, exactly. You, know, you can fix the bylaw. You can fake, make sure there's no hurdles if something right. comes up. Right. I mean, potentially, mm -hmm. I'm not going to throw any names, but there's some very wealthy people in town who own a lot of property who are aging out. Maybe some of their property will come to sale, but. The other the other example is in the BFW business park, which has a couple yeah, of lots. So that's yeah. been around for a while, right? Yep. Lower Hill coming down yep. from the, the BFW. Yep. So I've been at least 10 years. Yeah, that's a due to property. So 
Shane Earl that's up in Morrisville wants to relocate there. And he's run into roadblocks, mostly Act 250, because that's an Act 250 subdivision there, BFW, right? And he needed help. So Marble Real Estate is working, getting through all the little hurdles that Shane would have no time for. He's a metal guy, you know? So the top, if there was something that Marble Real Estate was running up against, and the best example is what you guys all did with the Chevy dealer. I think every town committee went to the Act 250 hearing. Yeah and testified that we want this don't give them a hard time get it through as fast and that came from dan keen asking for support yeah, yeah. so there's just two or, two or three ways the town could enter into without really being a owner of property but making sure that there's no constraints that are going to turn somebody away and say you're not welcoming it's like well, it, it would be due to other things like matt's bringing up there's no land for sale right but it's not going to be due to the zoning bylaw or the select board being uh, non-supportive. But Matt said some of the people are getting along in age and uh, may become available to those properties. And then if, like you're saying, we'll make it available or make it so it's easy for them to move into that. Yeah, clear some of the hurdles. Yeah. Well, I want to talk to the economic development folks so that they know that we are receptive as a town to... Um, you have the regional guy, the yeah. Patrick, the yeah. Pat. Ripley, yeah, the new yeah. to talk with them and say, you know, we're we're looking for ways to market better, basically. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, Ripley. even if he just have if he just has one little sheet that here are the things that you can do in Hyde Park that Morris Town won't let you do, or or just what you can't do. Right. It's hard to know what the rules are over there. Right. I think that the the benefit of having that for sort of face forward, we're inviting right click because nobody knows if somebody's coming from out of town, they don't know. Yeah, right. And they might just say, Oh, that's all rural country, they don't want me. It's <laughs> on the surface. But it's not true in the bylaw or the town plan or you know. Well, one thing's for sure is more school is what we have. They're gonna be running out of places. <laughs> You think they are? Yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. Right the building. Well, it's going to happen either. You know, it's going to be interesting in the next five years to see what happens over there. So yeah, the five ten year plan for this area here, especially coming this way down this way here, I think is the most reasonable. I mean, I've seen some movement up on uh, headed toward Wolcott, that type of thing. Some headed toward Stowe. But Stowe was a with a. Back Land back being so way. expensive and stuff, it might no, be a little no, it's more in that direction, right? right. You know? yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Out there, there's a technical right. ballet, yeah. They've done some there too, but it's there. The little it's house is right across from Joe's there, yeah. Those tiny houses, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, back to where we started, yeah. <laughs> the 143,800 that's in the highway budget for the center road paving level is in your draft proposed for 24 which would be deleted and paid off with the uh right. the, the yeah. yeah. that would take three years of our payment in the center i mean no but what they're talking about using the FEMA the university right there they're not taking the they're taking the the point three is it back in the center so 24 would be this one again so the 143800 creates a huge hole in this budget uh, because you'll actually be like reducing the tax rate potentially. That's enough of a change where you'd be reducing the tax rate projection unless you add back into the budget somewhere else, the 143. Well, I would think that we would do that to deficit with our vehicle shortage. Right, so you can move the 143 into capital reserve, you can move it back into paving so that, um, about the balance yeah, yeah i mean you, you for this i'm talking about 24 right. right you can take that 143 and put it up into the 180 to get to the 320 the 300 something was the goal for paving every year yeah but that doesn't do anything for your capital reserve which is also hurting right so you want to split the difference and make a big jump on paving and get that i would back. think we would bring this to jen too i mean talk to jen about with the proper money or with the FEMA money coming in does it make more sense to invest that money and make more money on our money than what we're paying out on our money yeah we when she was when she was using the million yeah um she was uh i think she was considering the, the fema the fema and all our other money that was not totally in the near term, right? you know, short term, long term yeah. kind of need. So you can, she's going to be back to you in May, probably May, 
or sooner, because that's when the CDs, their four month CDs mature, and she'll have a new plan in May. Okay, how much is the fee loan? Uh, I think three, three sixty. I think is the number. I mean, look. Right. So say it's three sixty. That's only. What you say? The total fee money is three sixty. I see the expert on here. Does that mean it's paid off? But I don't see anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's yeah. going through the uh, reserve. So so let's just, well, just just for rounding. So the fee is three sixty. So if we took. 143, we pay for Center Road. There's still FEMA money left. 220. Yeah. To a and some of that. No, 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 no. The, no. The, the balance due is two six. The difference, remember the two lines that you have in FY23 that you're using to pay down 500 and something left on Center Road yeah. is the 180 paving and the 143 loan okay. payment. Okay. That leaves 260 still due on Center Road. So FEMA is going to leave about a hundred doing your round math. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah, I think I should. Okay, gotcha. So we still have a whole that FEMA would, that you could. We could but that would, that would catch us what two years essentially on the center, or it would advance us a year. Yeah, you're one eighty and one forty three. Center of 800. Yeah, well, that's going to go to zero in your budget from in four in 24. So you're talking about taking that down to zero and and deciding what to do with that now because that's in your 4.3 yeah. tax rate. So if you want to, to go to zero and not do anything with that, your tax rate goes flat almost, almost like a no tax rate increase next year, which is huge politically in this kind of environment. But and most of this is due to the two percent grand list, which won't happen every. Right. Year, which right. we could, we could, this year, we, could, we, could, we could, we could run an exercise on what we are short for the trucks, and we can go half. Yeah, again, we're we're in the capital plan. We're programming loans now, which right. we didn't have to do before right. a couple of years right. ago. So any money that you put into capital reserve will reduce the term or get rid of a loan or something right. like that. And if you keep on putting that capital reserve up a little year, you know, every year, you can almost get out the loans over time. But right. then we have a greater coming in three or four years, which is going to be a million bucks probably by the time we get there. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's going to be a lot probably. Yeah. Yeah, so... So the options tonight, we have a need to get to the printer with a final budget on February 3rd, which is next week, end of next week. And Miss Krista has to point up, post her warning. And the warning includes your budget amount. Um, I think she said after the printer. So there's a little bit of a gap there, but any time before the third, you guys all have to figure out what to do with that 143 um, for the budget presentation and then settle on a tax rate. And I can, what I can do tomorrow is talk about all this stuff again, just to bring her up to speed with the chain, because we've been working on one angle and this kind of changes a, a little bit. Yeah, see what she says. And we can look at both the cap, what Matt was saying with the capital reserve allocation. And then Mark, Mark is mostly interested in what you do with my paving line, because that 180 isn't doing a mile. Yeah. And we already yeah. skipped two years. So. Bill, yeah, we probably have you know, like a four hundred thousand dollar paving job just to fix that. If you go now, you have paving you're going to go center road, center road, yeah, center road, yeah, yeah. That's it by Eric Williams. Yes, I So you're going to start right there at the farm and go to. Well, we should start right up by the farm stand. Go to the farm stand and do Road High Park Road yeah. just past Benson Road. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, there's a joint right there by uh, Dearborn's. Dearborn chin up the hill, you know, to the so there. Longmore. Yeah, just before Longmore Hill. Between the Benson and Longmore. Yeah. yeah. And then you walk through past Eric Williams and there. That's not cheap. That's a long ways. Not if you're on Fiona up with flower now from the other hill and stuff above Eric Williams. You go back here, you know, we go back. It's been a long time since I've been paid. 
Well, that's what I was inquiring yeah, so about. And the rest of the FEMA money, and they still got her. We got a pretty good fund. Right. Yeah. 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 We could put in the paving. Yeah, the two years of paving, and then we said, Yeah, that's more than the money. We just bought a paving company. Did you buy it? We Who's bought SD payment. Huh? We bought SD payment. State. He's buying everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for the budget. I can we'll have to look at the statutory requirements and call a special meeting to review all this stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Make a final decision. So much we can move around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, do we want to continue with the um, Australian ballot, or do, do or do the floor voting? I think, like Roland said, that people are wanting to get back in person to yeah, that's and that's so. I think that uh, safe enough. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I heard a lot of kids chatter about it. Go to the post office. We that. I'm sorry, I missed it. Get back to, to town meeting. We haven't had town meeting for the last oh, yeah. couple of years yeah. because of COVID. But people I talked to, they want to see it. Well, they asked me, and I said, We haven't talked about it yet, but they really, I said, What's your opinion? They kind of like get back into it. I guess it's time. Yeah. So that's, uh, we need to put that to a vote to uh, go back to uh, floor. floor voting. Yeah, we're going to go back to Well, it's in, it's in the um, draft warning, so you don't need to yeah. vote. You'll okay. Be, you'll be voting to sign it at some point. Okay. I, all I was looking for is to not wait for the Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Not wait. Not Thank wait you. For the have a, have a safe week. Thank you. Yeah. So, regardless of what the governor does, we'll come on board. Effective for 2024. Uh, this time, we counted 23 time times. Right. Um, yeah. So, what are we going? What's the next one? So, there's no action item on that, really? No vote on it? You'll sign a warning when we're yeah, getting the we'll budget done. Morning, right. Okay. And town warrant, we've already so, uh, signed those. We want a motion to accept them. Well, I move we accept the, uh, the town warrants. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 You may oppose abstaining. No, he's happy. There they are. <clears throat> okay, moving right along. Minutes. Everybody had a chance to look at the minutes for the last meeting. He did a great job on it. I thought. Thank you. So I didn't see Great. any errors or Great job. laws. We need a motion to accept the minutes. We make a motion to accept the minutes. A second. 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 All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any be opposed, abstaining? Ayes apparently have it. So that one's done. That one's done. And so I thought you had to abstain that annual mileage that. form. Uh, actually, yeah. you did that. Yeah. So yeah. That's that's we, right. about. we just did the MRG. So we're okay. Yep. okay, so that's all good. Um, I haven't heard anything from Manoj, that isn't on here, but I haven't heard anything from him because he hasn't decided if he wants to keep it or sell it. So, so you, know, you didn't hear anything from Howard, did you? No, no. if no. you want to keep it or sell it, so you're stuck. Have you heard anything with yeah. Ken's? Um, I'm a little... So he's wanting, he's wanting to... I heard from Ron today. Yeah. He said he wants to put chestnuts on it. That's, yeah, yeah. he hasn't... He said he would get back to us, but uh, yeah. I haven't heard anything. So... This is so you talked to him, Ron and Howard, or...? I haven't known no, yeah, I, I just I just got... The, I reached out to him. Yeah, I mentioned I last week, yeah. And then he said that he hadn't... Uh, decided if he, he, he may keep it, he said. He may keep it and grow his trees on it. He's got thousands of those, my understanding, and uh, he wants to have a place to plant them, so he may plant them up there. It'll be pretty, you know, fertile land from oh, yeah. already being used. So 
The trees up there. Because taxpayers are definitely going to want to, we go back to town meeting, taxpayers are definitely going to want to talk about that, hear about that. Yeah. 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 Follow up to that. Uh, do you want to accelerate the soil borings on the existing gravel pit now that we're not going to join it with the two? That may be helpful with uh, with um, explaining what we got in reserve. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that would be good to know. If, if you're asking us, what we're going to do? Right, then we've got plenty, and our society doesn't want to sell. But don't worry, we're not about to run out of gravel. If we have facts, right. yeah, we should have a year assessment of it. Sure, too. You know, that's on that's, our pet now. Yeah. Our yeah. Pet. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. We're, yeah. we're going to couple it with Minash, but if that's not going to happen anytime soon, we'll just go on with the town gravel pit. Yeah. 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 This is my unit. Or I think so. That wasn't, I didn't bring it down. So it, must be, it must be yours. And Justin, bring it down. You can bring down the. <laughs> Yeah. Just materialize. <laughs> Those things can happen. I didn't get the second part of the gravel pit discussion. So we're going to uh, um, there's nothing, no movement on that with Howard, and we haven't heard anything more from him. And then, but we are going to take uh, and get some uh, bore samples, uh, projecting how much uh, more gravel we got in our current pit that we own. I don't know if you've seen this before. This is the tax rate summary that Kim keeps. And it has the CLA number that you can see for the reappraisal. So I just added the 23 the new number for the CLA and COD at the bottom, which shows that we're below both of those thresholds. So it's more, just, more just like an FYI. So you have the whole tax rate history. And Matt and I have been talking about a townwide uh, mowing contract. We're actually going to do it. <laughs> so we have one. We have four slash five mowing people that do town and village properties right now. About thirty six acres of mowing every year. Some of it's done by volunteers. Some of it's paid. Uh, who knows how long all that stuff will last? We used to have DOC help. Some of that. Yeah, nobody got in, in trouble anymore, so they're not sending them to the There's no criminal saints, saints in Memorial County. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So I reached out to the Cemetery Commission, which has a twenty about a twenty thousand dollar annual contract with Slayton mow, mowing or landscaping. They do all the seven the six cemeteries. They haven't gotten back to me yet. Conrad Slayton. Like the the they do the the ceiling too of Pavement. pavement and stuff. It's like not, not related, I don't think. Oh. No. But anyway, they, they haven't responded whether they want to partake in a, a bigger bid for the ball fields and town property, the library, the welcome sign, um, all the cemeteries, and do it all as a one contract for five years. So it's more interesting to somebody. Right now, they do a two year contract, and all the other properties seem to be like year to year, like no bond agreements. Okay. So I don't know where to go next and wait for cemetery to come back. But maybe Brian, you want to look at that since you're the mowing guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The uh, major league mowing had told me that he's interested if we do the contract with him. Yeah, I think really? don't you think a five-year contract on me serious mowing? Acreage would be interesting to somebody. You know I don't I mean? think. <clears throat> I mean, Brock's pretty much done it up there for 20 years now. But the problem is, again, like we were dealing with in our budget, whether it's by the time. So if he does it 40 times or 38 times, it's hard to understand the budget, I guess, or if I'm on it. Just get a flat rate for the season with a uh, uh, minimum. Or the maximum growth of the grass, right? Minimum length or something like that. Yeah, three inches. 
That's so true. The, 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 the mow policy you guys endorse is four inches. Ball fields might need a little trimmer. Or the, so the ball doesn't the ball doesn't stop and they go <laughs> Well, last year we dealt with that. Yeah, right. If you didn't go, we wouldn't mow it before by our games anyways. You got in here 26 weekly cuts near the term of the contract. But yeah, look, those are just notes we had, so we can look at them. Mark it Anybody up. that does it would know that, uh, um, especially your cemeteries, you don't want to cut them if they're dry. It'll make them look like a desert and make you know you got Real quick. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't go over very good. You just mow or we'd whack the high, the high stuff, you know, and then you keep it so it isn't a complete mow. If you mow too low, you'll kill it. Look at rolling for them. That's all right. Yeah, that's all. I just want to you can take that with yeah. you. Look at it. That's all I have. Motion to adjourn? Well, Not yet. Do we need to was the animal my to talk about that? Yeah, that was done. We you can take that off. That was done bonus last week. For that just got put on yeah, we were, we, it was in the last meeting. We talked about we're going to discuss it the first meeting in February. The first Be, because then we'll know more information about when um uh Kim's going to come back and stuff like that. Or what okay. the projection is for that? Okay. Because it could go up or down that type of thing because of the length of uh, Kim being in. Okay. Good question. Okay, so this had to be signed, and that had to be signature. Oh, for you to run again? Yeah. Because you're. Not. You need a psychiatrist. <laughs> I told all my friends. I said, "You sure you want to sign this?" <laughs> So was there a vote on the investment policy? See, Brian signed it, Jennifer signed it. And it looks like there's an adoption date of November 9th. Is this just getting the other signatures? Is that what it yeah, looks like there's multiple oh, lines? Oh, yeah, I, I passed it down, but oh, okay. it came back. Yeah, I didn't know if it was voted November 9th. Mm -hmm. That's the date up there. So I don't know if that's part of those minutes. Find out yeah, you can find out November 9, 22, if they're voting the charge scheme. That's what we want to do. There we go. How many more you need? We got to have 30 or something. Yeah. I remember to take it. I think it's like it's been so long with me. I get it three years. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I have a motion yes. to adjourn. Yes. No. Okay, I move. We adjourn. Okay. Favor okay. signify by saying aye. 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 aye.